Let a to b be proportional to e to f, and b to c be proportional to d to e. What we want to show is that the x equality ratios are also proportional, or that a to c is proportional to d to f. To do so, take g, h, and k to be equal multiples of a, b, and d, respectively. And take l, m, and n to be equal multiples of c, e, and f, respectively. Since g and h are respectively equal multiples of a and b, a to b is proportional to g to h. And for the same reason, e to f is proportional to m to n. But a to b is proportional to e to f, so g to h is proportional to m to n. b to c is proportional to d to e, so the alternate ratios are proportional as well. So b to d is proportional to c to e. But b to d is also proportional to h to k, since h and k are respective equal multiples. Therefore, h to k is proportional to c to e. L and m are also equal multiples of c and e, so l to m is proportional to c to e, and is thus also proportional to h to k. And the alternate ratios are also proportional, so h to l is proportional to k to m. So overall, we have a perturbed proportion where g to h is proportional to m to n and h to l is proportional to k to m. So by proposition 5.21, if g is greater than, equal to, or less than l, k is greater than, equal to, or less than n. Therefore, by the definition of proportionality, a to c is proportional to d to f.